welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute Dollar Tree pineapple door hanger using mostly items from the Dollar Tree or items that can be found at the Dollar Tree and a little bit of pineapple ribbon from the wreath shop. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Alrighty, y'all, let us get started. First off, what you're going to need, one of these little pineapple door hanger guys from the Dollar Tree. You're also going to need some of these sunflowers. Now, if you're Dollar Tree, carry sunflowers, use them from Dollar Tree. These came from Walmart. They were 98 cents for a bundle, and I'm not exactly sure at this moment how many of these flowers that this thing is going to take, so I've just got a handful over here kind of stocking up for the summer season, you know, so um, we'll see how many will fit on here. You're also going to need some of these whoops, artificial ferns or whatever kind of greenery that you want to use. I got two of these from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use that for the, for the green leaves on top. So what we are going to do is we are just going to start off by taking, taking off of the tinsel. We're just going to strip this little thing down, taking all of this off. And you know what? I don't think I have so many containers over here of this tinsel stuff. You know, it's like whenever I take something apart, I try to save it to see if I can use it for something else, but I have a lot of it over here. This is gold. This would be cute to use for Christmas. You know what? I might can cram it in this box over here. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you not letting him go? I don't know. All right. So I'm going to just take this off and then finish taking the green part off, which looks like that might take me a few minutes. You can see all these different shapes here. But anyway, I'm going to work on this and then we'll see what else we're going to do with it. All right, now we have our naked pineapple. I'm sitting here looking at this, and I definitely want to use this part here. But let's take a look at this part up here. And I don't like these doohickeys that are like, you know, curving upwards. I don't like that at all. So I'm thinking about, I'm going to take my wire cutters over here, and I want to cut these off here. That one and this big, huge center one, I think. Um, and just leave like this outer, this outer, outer outline. Um... Yeah, but this part right here is not conducive to what I want to do. So I'm just going to cut it off. Yeah. And then cut that part off. I'm just going to leave the, um, I think I'm going to leave these on. I don't think they're going to show through. But if I see that there will be a problem, then I'll cut those off as well. Anyway, let me work on this now. Okay, I think that's going to work a little bit better. Now, if you want to, you can take this thing off right here and just put your own hanger on there. But I think I'm just going to leave it because I'm going to need to put something on there to hang it with anyway. So now what I have here is some of this floral wire. And I've cut a few pieces and they're laying over here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these leaves and see why I left these right here is because I want to take that floral wire and use it to attach these babies. I'm just going to cut that right there. And you know what? Let's see. A bunch of them attached. Hmm. I just had to pull some of these puppies off. Yeah. We can cut that one right there. All right. Get out of my way. So now we're going to take these and see I left that. So now I can just lay that there. And then I'm going to take some of this floral wire and attach it like so hello why are you not going there i don't know there we go there attach that there let's give it a good twist i cut that piece way too long so i'm just going to trim it down here and i can use that i mean it's not too short that i can't use it again and then i think i might want to put another one because see that's going to flop forward I'm just going to take it and then we'll wrap it around again right here and then fasten it down. And that's the way I'm going to do all the leaves. I'm just going to lay them on top of there and then just wire them down however I see fit. I hope I have enough of these leaves. I don't, I think I only have two bundles. Three, two? Yeah, I only have two bundles. So we'll see if that's enough. Snip that. All right. So you see, that's how we're going to attach. The leaves but anyway for the little sunflower guys i'm just going to take them and then we're going to cut off that right there now let's see i want to start you see like these little crossbars right here that's where i want to start gluing these things down um 
because I think that's going to provide us with the most stability, and we all need stability. Let's put that there. Let's stick that right down on top, trying to cover as much of the, uh, the side as I can. I'm just going to hold that down for a minute. Okay. Might just have to cram a few, you know, wherever you can. All right, see all these little bumpies here? I don't like them because I'm thinking I might glue a flower onto that bar. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to trim it off and see. Okay, let's get another flower. Let's see. Hmm. Now, all these overlap like just slightly. All right, I'm going to glue. Well, you know what? Darn it. Now I'm going to have to cut these knobbies off. All right, let's cut that off and cut it off and cut that off. Hold still. You don't want me to cut the knobbies off. I don't blame him. All right. Let's put this here. Yeah, that looks good. You just put them wherever you want to put them. I'm going to stick it on that bar right there, and it's going to take me a second. I'm just going to hold that glue down. And let it harden up. You could wrap this with burlap if you wanted to. To make it easier for these to stick to. But um, that's a step that I don't want to take today. <laughs> and um, I'll have to go to my storage unit and get my burlap out. But anyway, that's all we're going to do with that. So I'm going to take the rest of these flowers. And I'm just going to glue them down wherever I can get them. And then we're going to finish with these leaves. I'm just going to wire it to the top just like that. And then I think what I want to do is get some ribbon and make like a small little bow to go right here. And we'll see what that looks like. But anyway, let me work on this for a little bit. All right, so I've got the majority of everything on here. Now, as far as the flowers go, some of them weren't too healthy looking. So I used three of the bundles, okay, because I didn't use all of the flowers. So there's that. Um, I have, I used about one and a half of the bundles of the greenery up here. And once I get this done and I can actually hang it up and get a good look at it, then um, I can kind of feather these out a little bit more, place them a little bit better, you know, so I can see how they're going to fall once they're upright. But now I'm just going to make a simple bow to go on here. And this is my awesome pineapple ribbon. I got this from the wreath shop and I'll have a link in the description box. Just click on that wreath shop link and, you know, you can find all sorts of really beautiful, really good quality ribbon, mesh, signs, florals, all different kinds of things to make your wreaths with. Now I'm just going to move this over. And I have taken this ribbon here, and you can see that's about how how long I cut it. Just cut it to however wide you want your bow to be. So my bow's gonna be roughly this wide. I just held the ribbon up against the pineapple to see about how big I wanted it. And now I'm just going to take my hot glue. I'm gonna make one little line just like that. Ah, and now we're just gonna glue this down like so, okay? So now we've effectively made a loop. That's what we've made. We've made a loop. Alrighty. It's like so. Okay, I have so many hot glue gun strings. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Okay. So now we're going to cut another piece, and this is going to be for the tail. Let's say that we want the tail to be about yay long. That's about how long I want the tail. Then I'm going to fold the ribbon so that it's kind of doubled like so and then cut it and this is what I'm going to use for the tail here in a moment so now let's cut a piece that's going to be used just for the center I don't know I don't even measure this that looks good okay now this is going to be for our center so I'm just taking it and I am putting a line of hot glue just right on the edge of that ribbon and then folding it over about that that looks good and now we're just going to put more glue right there and then fold that edge of ribbon over i'm going to trim the ends here in a second all right we're going to trim it just like so okay let's see so here is our center this is going to be for the tail and this is going to be the middle piece that goes around so now this is our loop here and what i'm going to do this is the the seam is on the back here just going to take it fold it forward and then fold it back like that and then just take this flap here and fold that back like so and there's a cute little bow 
I'm just going to put a dot of hot glue here just to hold that together while I'm working on it. Oops, I got some on my finger. All right, I'm just going to hold that down. I'll just wipe that off right quick. All right, so we're going to let that glue set up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the centerpiece and we're just going to wrap it around it and then hot glue it into place. Try to make sure you get it towards the center. Okay, that looks good. I don't want some big frivolous bow on this. So I'm just making a little simple one here. All right, go here. Wrap that around, and now I'm just going to hold this until everything solidifies and sets up, and then I'm going to trim the edge off of here, the end rather, and then I'll show you how to put the tail on, and then we're going to stick it down. All right, so that is held together like so, and now we're just going to take this ribbon that we're going to use for the tail, and we're just going to dovetail the ends. You can fold it if you want. There's a gnat in here. I had the windows open a while ago, and now there's a gnat. But it's so nice outside, you know. I wanted the door open a little bit. Door and the window. All right, so now this is our tail. Just going to take it. I'm trying to get this in frame. Okay, I'm just going to take it. Let's see. See how I just kind of scrunched it up in the center there? I want to bend it down and see about how I want it. That looks good. And then I'm just going to glue the bow right on top. And that glue right there is going to hold the tails in place. So I'm going to take this. I'm just going to stick it right there. And then we're just going to hold that down and wait for that glue to set up. All right. So our bow is done. And how cute is that? And depending on what you're putting your bow on, you know, that's how you put your tails. If you want to come like straight down like this, or as you can see here, I wanted it to kind of flare out and frame the flowers. So that's why I made them wider like that. But, you know, it's really customizable. You can do whatever you want. All right, so I'm just going to put like a bunch of hot glue right here. And then I'm just going to press it down right there. Sort of like where the flowers meet the greenery. And then I'm just going to let it sit there and let that glue set up. So anyway, I think I'm going to call that done. I don't really think I want anything else on here. I think that's enough. The flowers and the printed of <laughs> the printed of the ribbon. The print of the ribbon, I think, is... um is going to be just fine. So yeah, I'm just going to stop touching it. And I'm going to let everything set up and um, that's going to be that. Quick and easy. But anyway, I hope you like it. If you would, give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye!